Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. We got a great catfish video here for you today using a stick bobber to catch catfish. So I, here recently I took uh, Ethan, my nephew, on a little adventure catching some catfish. We were mostly in one to two foot of water, a little bit deeper sometimes, but um, here you'll see the ins and outs of uh, catching these big cats with uh, a stick bobber and, and sometimes little ones, but it's just the fun of the enjoyment of being out and fishing. But one thing's for sure, when you see that bobber streak down into that water, it's the funnest feeling in the world. So um, hopefully you'll subscribe here to my channel and, and enjoy this video. And uh, we look forward to uh, introducing you to more about kayak fishing in the near future. Thanks. Morning, everybody. A little catfishing today. Look at that back there. It's gorgeous. We'll get all set up here in a few minutes and we'll be out there ready to go. Be ready, folks. We're gonna catch some catfish, some channel cats today. Okay, we got the rig set up for catfishing today. And uh, got some extra monofilament leader there. Got some pliers, you're gonna need that. Got my little catfish kit with beads and hooks and swivels. Bobber stoppers, a couple extra bobbers down there. And then uh, here's our capture. These are floating poles. And they're all rigged up with a treble hook. And, you know, fairly, I think it's a size six maybe. And then we got the GoPro ready. There's another kayak for Ethan there. Got a scale, got the bait, and that bait smells. Got the life jacket, snacks, got a net. We even got live scope today. And yeah, we're headed out. That's pretty good out there. Yeah, we're gonna do some some stick bobber action today. And uh, this one's a little dusty. You can see here. I've got a treble hook, 50 pound mono leader, three, ounce, three eighths ounce uh, egg sinker with a bead above it to protect that knot, a swivel, stick bobber. You get these at CJ's bait or you can make them. I got a bobber stopper on there, a bead above it. I got about 30 pound braid on here on a spinning rod. What we'll do is we'll put bait on there. And as you can see, the bobber is upright, kind of upright there. That one's not very heavy. Here we go. All right, we're almost out to our spot. Got some timber here. And we're in three and a half foot of water. Water temp's only 65. I'd like to see it around 72. That's what we're gonna do, but you know, see what we can get here. Looks like I got some comrades gonna spectate today over there. Must be a boat out. We got a wake. water to warm up a little bit. I'm going to go over by these stumps. Oh, I'm snagged. Ah, ooh, there we go. Come on. There's a lot of submerged timber here. Oh, I'm going to need some more bait.
breeze is supposed to go from the south at that time. There we go. Ah, oh, didn't take it. Must be a little one. I got a bigger hook on this one. Yeah. Look at that jet. You got you got me on, you got me. Uh oh. <laughs> Down holding them? Yeah, okay. There you go. Little channel cat. He got breakfast. Seems like these this timber, there's quite a few in it. Sun shining on my bobber. And two foot of water here. Four degree water. Another one. A little better. Pounder. Right. Yeah. There we go. There we go. You gotta stick it right down on the hook, you'll feel it. I missed him. I missed him. Got one. Go. 
He's swimming with it. Got him. Got another one. Bad. Oh, this one's about two and a half, two and a half pounds, maybe three. Yeah, look at that one. Seems like we're finding them on the wood, wherever there's wood, we're finding catfish today here. And, uh, so I'm gonna go up to this log up here. Of course, I'm only in a, I'm less than two foot of water right now. Oh boy. Got a good one, Ethan? Got a good one on here. Oh. Got my boat now. I think he got tangled up on my fins. Oh, I lost him. I lost him. Man, he made a mess of things. Yeah, it was a big one. There's another one. Yeah. There's another one. Told you, wherever there's wood, we're gonna get them. Time to reload some bait. On my hook. Maybe I'll hook another big one here today. Got one, all right. Big? Hang on. I'm coming. Just keep him right there. Okay, folks, get ready. Just keep him right there. All right, I'll get the net here. Let me get this mine put away here and then we'll get a photo of that booger. Net, they said net. Bring the net. Let's see. Get that head up there somewhere though. Oh yeah, you got a nice one, man. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Bring this way. Got it. Alright folks, look at that. Woo! That's a good one. All right, Ethan's got a big one on here. I just lost one, just ripped my line off my reel, got down on a log jam. But Ethan here has got a giant. Let's see what happens. It's like catching a deep sea fish, huh? Epic, epic, epic. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. That's a flathead. Yeah, I got a flathead. <gasps> that's a flathead? Yeah.
I've caught my friend's green is a good one. Oh my gosh. Get in there, buddy. Oh my god. So when you when you go out and you're punt using punch bait for uh, catfish, you're gonna need some basic components, and we try to keep it very simple. And right here you have some stick bobbers, and as you can see in the video, they, I mean, they shoot straight down. It's a great indicator of bites, and uh, you can either make them like I've done here, um, and uh, you can buy the, the corks in the uh, store and add your little components to it, and uh, probably make a video on that as well, and then, CJ's um, bait also sells them. I think they're three for fifteen dollars um, there. So they do work very well though for for when, when you're using punch bait. And basically, I have everything in a small kit. Uh, it's a scrapbooking or a photo case that easily fits in my kayak. You're gonna need some sinkers, and my favorite is to use a three eighths ounce egg sinker. Um, Next is, uh, you're getting a heavy duty swivel. I use a size three rolling swivel, 100 pound test. Um, and those seem to work pretty well for me. And then um, you need a bobber stopper, little bobber stoppers. And you're going to need some beads. And the beads, I like these beads here I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. And uh, you can get a couple hundred in a pack there not very much um size four six treble hooks there um i like i do like the short shank ones um to use but basically any you know sturdy treble hook they are going to get bent i think no matter what you do but um that but your bait will stick to that pretty well so that's basically it, and I just put this in a small kit and uh, take it out with me, and uh, it makes it pretty easy to use to catch the catfish with. Okay, so the setup, basically, you'd start with uh, adding your uh, bobber stopper at the top. I have a couple on here. Then your bead. Then your bobber. Just thread it through the two eyelets, then your sinker. So you have all these components here. And then you tie that to, or then put a bead, another bead, and then a swivel. Below that swivel, you'll have your leader, and then your treble hook tied to that leader. All right. That's basically the setup. And then I use a medium heavy spinning rod. This one here is a floating rod. It's got a medium sized spinning reel on it. Depending on the size of the catfish you're going after, you may want to go bigger. Um, but we have a lot of fun with the spinning action on it. And uh, so this is a basic rig for using punch bait for catfish. Okay, so Let's take a look at how to use this punch bait and put it on your hook. So as you can see here, I have a cooler that I keep in it during the day and I like to freeze it when I'm not using it. It's reusable. This bait right here has been, it, this one here is a year old, uh, just to show you that it, it can last that long in the, in the freezer for you. It looks like cookie dough kind of there. You can get it at Bass Pros, I think, and Shields, those kinds of places, um, major outlets. Uh, where where they sell bait you can also order online this is cj's bait um uh and uh good guy they'll get it out fast to you i like to buy it uh, in bulk um to use so basically i'm gonna get my hook and i took a toothbrush and broke off the end here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna push that hook down into the bait whoop I'm gonna push it down into the bait, bury it maybe a little bit, and then drag it across. And then you, you can see this is a real basic, but it, you can see how it clumps on there. And there's a lot of cattail in here that he puts with it. 
Now that's probably not good enough, so I'm gonna put a little more on there. And you don't need a whole lot, you know, but this will permeate the water. There you go, now there's a nice clump there, and I would throw that in the water, and it'll stand there pretty good. So that's how you get your bait on, your punch bait. As you can see there, and it smells wonderful. Um, it will attract fish. Uh, you'll catch a lot of catfish with it. So good luck out there. <laughs>